be next month. And we, we have wonderful stories. In fact, I had an occasion last week. You can see my hair is newly shaved. So my barber uh, came to do, uh, to, to do some work on what is left of my hair. It is, and in the process, uh, he asked me, uh, Mr. President, um, you know, my savings on the Hustler Fund is now 5,600. Why is it the case that my limit is still at 5,000? Why don't you consider the fact that I have saved 5,000? Why don't you increase my limit? And it was a fundamental question. I have since put that question to the CS. I have put that question to Safaricom. I have put that question to all the other stakeholders in that space. Because we need to answer that gentleman. Because the next time he comes to visit me, I need to have answers for him. I was, I was very honest with him. I didn't have an answer at that point. So, I mean, there are many Kenyans out there who truly know what it means to have access to affordable credit and how much difference it makes for their businesses. We have also transformed the provision of public services by making it possible for Kenyans to access them online through their mobile devices, community health, agricultural extension support, Hustler Fund, and the National Education Management Information System are not only the only services whose provision has been transformed by digitization and automation. The government has increased the number of public services accessible through digital services to over 13,000, freeing up the people to concentrate on their lives and livelihoods and go about their business without the necessity of queuing, the necessity of traveling to try and access government services. And I must congratulate uh, the Ministry of ICT working with the Ministry of Interior for what they are doing around that space. I did agree with them. I gave them some timelines on where we needed to move. I think many people did not believe that it was possible to move government services substantially to be available on the digital space. We had only 320 government services a year ago. Today we have 13,000 and we are well on course in making sure that by the end of this year or shortly thereafter, all government services will be available online. Already, um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are.